and um, uh, I see that it's impossible for me to re to receive this um, this prize um, because there are many many Sahrawis who have been struggling for many many years for their rights for for human rights for justice. Many Sahrawis have sa um, sacrificed their life and their families for 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 human rights. They have. Um, um, being subjected to forcible disappearance, to uh, flagrant violations of human rights. Uh, they have done a lot for, for Western Sahara, more, more than I have done. Um, uh, um, that's why I'm, um, I want to give this prize, uh, to give it all to, and dedicate it to all Sahara, to young Saharawis, young peoples, young students, that uh, they uh, that they are starting their life for um, uh, and struggling for the right to Sahrawi self determination and um, and to independence. Um, 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 these Sahrawis, my students, uh, I mean my fellow students and my friends, that are um, staging peaceful demonstrations. That uh, they are striving in peaceful ways for their rights. Um, those students that they have really suffered. And um, uh, for instance, I'm just giving you some examples. This is a Sahrawi student. His name is Luali Qadini. Uh, he um, he was thrown from the fourth floor of the campus when uh, after a, a police attack of the campus, and he is now health handicapped. Um, this is my friend Sultana. She lost her eye in a demonstration, in a peaceful demonstration at the university. And uh, this is me uh, after a brutal attack by the Moroccan police at the university. So these are my friends that they really, that they are the one who really deserve this prize. Um, many of them are young and they have suffered a lot. This is Salim Saidi. He was. Um, detained by the police just for rising Polisari flag in the street and the police put benzene and fi put fire on him. Um, this is my younger sister after uh, the police um, they, they stormed my house. Um, many Sahrawis were, were sent to, um, to the black prison. This is the black prison in, in Anayun where they spent several years in this situation. Um, so um, I don't I don't see myself um, a person that deserves that this great prize, but I see my people, those young students, who are the one who deserve it. Um, there is another thing that I want to mention is that. Um, uh, what is make our situation really worse is that the participation of um, European companies, uh, um, the, their participation of the planning of our natural resources. Unfortunately, there are some Norwegian companies who are taking part in that illegal uh, planning of our natural resources. Here are some photos of the Norwegian companies. Uh, this is Figaro Geo team, and. Um, uh, it is now working in our ocean, um, searching for oil, and this is really um, horrible. Um, on the one hand, um, as long as Morocco is um, benefiting from the occupation, it's so hard for us to get our independence or to get our rights. And, uh, um, and uh, this company is looking for oil, has started its um, um, activities on um, uh, January and it will end on, um, uh, on, uh, on March. So um, uh, if Morocco finds oil in Western Sahara, this, is, uh, this, um, this will um, be really very difficult for us to even think of a solution in Western Sahara. So, um, so uh, um, um, I want um, I want you to, um, you and all of us to, um, to do, um, to do campaigns, 
to to raise awareness and to uh, to uh, to make these companies stop immediately these illegal activities and. Um, um, and uh, uh, I will thank you so much um, for this prize that will uh, that our affair will get more attention. And uh, thank you all. And, yeah, thank you so much.